June is Migraine and Headache Awareness Month, and we all know the impact that seasonal triggers of chronic migraines can have. Joining us is neurologist Dr. Jennifer Williams McVig and Good Housekeeping's Lori Jennings with some very important information. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is a chronic migraine and what are some seasonal triggers that people might have? Chronic migraine is uh, defined by somebody that has headaches about 15 or more headache days on a month. Um, the headaches are usually longer, about four hours, and many of them can be very debilitating, like to eight, up to eight uh, very debilitating headaches um, within the month. Um, chronic migraine sufferers will often tell you they have a headache every other day and can confuse it as a sinus type headache, but it's really not sinus. It's actually the migraine just continues on and on. Um, as far as triggers, um, seasonal triggers. Seasonal triggers are huge, and that's absolutely what we're dealing with right now. So seasonal allergies can be a trigger. You've also got all our favorite foods, so chocolate, wine, bacon. <laughs> yeah, nitrates are a huge trigger. So lunch and meat, pepperoni, salami, bacon, um, MSG, lining of soup cans, bullion cubes. So staying away from those things are very important. Gotcha. So now let's talk about uh, Good Housekeeping's partnership. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, basically, we've partnered with Allergan because we care about our readers. We have so many women who come to us and complain about many health conditions, and one of them is headaches and migraines. And they're confused. They're not sure what's going on. They're not sure what the answers are. They're not sure where to go for help. And our position is information is power. The more information you have, the more you know what's going on with your life, with your body, the more you can actually get back to a normal existence. Right, and so what are some of the current treatments that are out there right now? Um, so with, for the 3.3 million sufferers for chronic migraine, um, the, uh, the treatment options are, um, are out there and uh, the biggest treatment right now is uh, the first FDA approved uh, medication is Botox. Um, this has been around since 2010, it's tried and true. Um, it can be very helpful. As I said, a lot of people mistake taking over-the-counter medications multiple times as a treatment, but it's not. Um, the goal is to not have a headache, not to band-aid a headache when you get it. With rescue medications, it may be inappropriate, but the goal is to prevent the headache. So migraine prevention is the goal. Right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us with all this great information. You guys can head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net, to check it out again.